All right, so I'm back working on the 1972 F-350. As you can see, I've got a couple wiring harnesses. One's from this truck, which is a 72 harness. The other one's from a 1970 Sport Custom that uh, was in the junkyard, and I just bought it and pulled it out just to have uh, wires to make extensions and splices using the actual correct um, color coding. Um, makes troubleshooting later on a lot easier than it's a tangle of red wires. So what I thought I wanted to show was this truck is getting Sniper, um, Holly Sniper EFI. It's a two-barrel throttle body injection. And what I wanted to show was uh, one of the connectors here. Now this one, <clears throat> this one um, in particular, I've got two wires, and I can't honestly remember right now what um, two I saved these two I saved for. But as you can see. There's two wires in this connector. Um, I believe this would be a, a Metropack or a Weatherpack connector. So there's two wires in it, and you see this red plug off to the side. Now this connector had oh about six other six other wires that are in there, but they're all optional wires. And for myself personally, I just I just uh, pulled them out um, since I won't be using them. I'm gonna keep them, but for right now I'm not gonna be using them. Um, but for the Metropack. There's a, uh, this connector here goes over the back of it, sorry, kind of like that. And so you just snap it off, um, get it out of the way. And then what you're left with, if you look at the front of it, what, you, what you're left with a, is a small groove right here in the back. Now what I did was I used to work for a couple of landscape companies and we used to have these, we used to get these, um, focus. We do these chainsaw tools from Still, these little screwdrivers, and uh, you can buy the removal tools. Um, I usually just keep stuff around, and it's easier sometimes just to throw one of these on a bench grinder and grind it down. So it's a very small profile. Um, thought about hardening this just to uh, help with that smaller tip on it. <clears throat> so all you do is just slide the screwdriver down inside this slot here in the top. And then the connector should come out the back. And the connector is going to look like something like this. So you'll have the, if you have a wire in one of the sockets, you're going to have a boot on it. And that's going to be crimped, um, crimped onto the actual connector itself. And if we can get this to focus. You can see the tang there off to the side that we're trying to push in to release the connector and slide it out. Now, for now, um, I'll need to buy some, but these are the actual... Um, basically knockouts because what the idea is we want to keep moisture out because even though on the side of the connector I pulled the wires out on the other side um, there are still wires in there we don't want moisture or any other debris getting in there and causing either a short doing any kind of um, um, damage now the other one is uh, on the older older vehicles like say this Ford they had a, I think I believe they're called uh, Packard connectors and these ones are a lot easier to work with. This one actually is circular. Um, this one I would recommend buying the uh, tool or using a piece of like a brass tubing to release these. Um, but say for the ignition switch, on the front there you can see a larger slot where you can put a screwdriver in and release these connectors. So anyway, I just wanted to share that as I'm going through. Um, obviously I'm probably just voided my warranty by pulling apart their harness, um, but for me, it's worthwhile, you know, eliminating the extra wires and eliminating, you know, a, a, a possibility of having something short or, you know, just for now, it's the, the lack of clutter, I guess. So, anyway, um, thanks for watching. Bye.